Okie doke, our next inductee tonight is Wilfred Burchett and accepting the honour on his behalf of his son George Burchett who's flown all the way from Hanoi this evening. George Burchett, congratulations. Now you joked about um, when first getting the news that it was almost as good news as the news back in 1972 about your dad getting his passport back from Australia. Do, do you think Wilfred revelled in the controversy he created? Uh, I don't think he revelled at all. I think he just wrote his stories the way he, uh, he saw them and uh, there was nothing a, of a provocation or, uh, you know, <clears throat> I apologise for the accent, that's another long story. But uh, I love the accent. <clears throat> he just got the big stories back to the world. That's, uh, there was no uh, ego or, uh, or showing off. And one of those bigger stories uh, was him being there on the ground in Hiroshima just after the bomb fell. How important was that uh, certainly to his reputation as a journalist and more importantly setting the scene for what was to become a, a global era of nuclear deterrence around the world? Well, first he <coughs> brought the big bang story of uh, Hiroshima, which is one of the uh, <coughs> big stories in the <coughs> history of humanity. And also what's interesting is how he got the stories because he separated himself from the media pack and something, some instinct told him that the big story was Hiroshima and he made the very dangerous solo danger, uh, journey into Hiroshima, boarding a train on his own in uh, wartime Japan and got to Hiroshima. He didn't know what to expect and what he saw was <coughs> the apocalypse. The results spoke for themselves. George, on behalf of the Press Club, congratulations to you and the rest of the Birchett family. Thank you.